Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you. And if you saw my other video or when you see my other video, yes, I'm wearing the same outfit. I had such a big haul this week that I'm splitting it up into two. I did one that was just mostly fall DIY stuff and then this is just a Mod Podge of all the things. I'm trying to gather it and bring it closer so I can reach this stuff. I have it kind of far away. Um, and this stuff here is just some fun, cute stuff that I found that I thought everybody would like. So we'll get started. First up, I have the Hamburg Smasher. And this thing works great. I Somebody was hauling it. Jamrell Stewart, I think, bought one at Bed Bath & Beyond for $5. I've had one for several years. Now, I pressed it a little aggressively and did break the bottom, so I bought a new one, but it's lasted several years. But they're $1, and you can patty anything. It doesn't have to just be a hamburger. Oop, hamburger. So I grabbed one of those so I can throw my other one away. Um, in the back-to-school section, I grabbed one of these folders. Now, yes, I can get these folders for $0.50 cents everywhere else. The difference was, it's got this inside, is this front pouch. To me was worth the extra dollar so this comes out i am doing a new job function at work while a co-worker is out having some surgery if you're watching hey levon so um i think what i want to do is put my schedule in here in the front so it's in front of me what i need to do for her job what i need to do for my job and then on the inside i can put my um, back up and it kind of help that I've written notes for myself and have this for work. And I like that I can just have my checklist out on the front and glance at it. You could also put a calendar in there. I think these are great for school, but also for work. So I grabbed one of those for that. And then I picked up a two pack of these. And I, I'm gonna say this is the eight by eight. They're little pans and they come with the clear lids. I bought these for a test because so at Christmas time, I normally bake cookies, all kinds of Christmas cookies and give them as gifts. But this year I decided I wanna do something a little different. So I'm gonna make homemade cinnamon rolls. And I think I can fit four cinnamon rolls in this size and gift it to people like couples. And then I can get bigger sizes for families and things like that. But I wanna see how it will work in this size pan. So I grabbed the pack to test it out and I want to make sure it's kind of cheap. I just need to make sure they're going to be sturdy enough for me to carry to the people's house with the lid on it. I think they'll be fine. So I grabbed two of those to try. I'm missing one of these because I bought the spoon to go with this. Hmm. It's for my brother for his new pan for Christmas. Um, this is just a spatula. I use them all the time when I cook, and I thought he needed one too. So I grabbed one. For him, I'll have to find the spoon if I lost it. Um, I picked up a two-pack of these Monte Carlo pillowcases. So I will tell you, I passed them up several times, so I'm like, what is it? It doesn't tell you what the material is on the outside. So I saw somebody else haul them. I'm like, I'm just going to get them. So I got two packs of the pink. I opened it up. It's microfiber is what it is, but they're really soft. And for a dollar for two, they're standard size pillowcases. And it's nice and soft. I mean, they don't smell funky. So when I go to another Dollar Tree, if I see any more left, I'll pick them up. But I grabbed four of the pink ones. Pillowcases are expensive if you have to, you know, replace them. And pink will go with plenty of stuff in my house and on my spare bed because I just feel like pillowcases I never have enough because I like a lot of pillows so I grabbed two packs and they're nice in the book section I'm kind of excited about this I'm not sure who I'm going to gift it to but it's the book of joy journal a 365 day companion his holy list the Dalai Lama Archbishop Desmond Tutu with Douglas Abrams so in this book you it's a book of joy you journal your joy there's an invitation in the front and then what the back pages are are there's quotes you know but there's days of the year and you just write down things that make you happy i just think this is an amazing gift for somebody and it was regularly 17 dollars 
Now I'm going to gift this to somebody in this book with a nice pen and maybe like the four agreements, which is a book, you know, on Buddhism or something. I don't know, but I think this will make a beautiful gift. It's a nice, lovely book. I was able to find two. So I grabbed two of them. So I think that is awesome. And that it's can start whenever it's not a January thing. And then every so many pages, there is a quote, like, you are made for perfection, but you are not yet perfect. You are masterpiece in the making. Just little reminders and just joy. Live the day in the moment kind of a thing and reflect. This would be a great nighttime reflection of your day. You know, that's a great habit to get into. So I grabbed two of those. I don't know who's going to be gifted to yet, but somebody will receive a gift, a just because gift. Um, I picked up an eight pack of just letter envelopes. I need to mail out those cardlies. So I grabbed a pack of these to throw those in the mail this week. I found one of these Halloween treat books and it says tricky treats, ghoulish goodies to serve up on Halloween by Susan T. Look at the pumpkins on or the bananas. It's just fun little Halloween treats like deviled eggs, but you use green food coloring to make the deviled eggs or avocado. Nope, it's green food coloring. So they're green deviled eggs or cupcake recipes. I think this is going to be fun to do with my little cousin. Um, there is some mummy sausages. You could do it with hot dogs. Apples with peanut butter and I don't, maybe marshmallows? Yeah, mini marshmallows. I think it's just going to be fun to do as a family for Halloween. Some just Halloween treats. So I grabbed that book because, you know. I found two calendars. I couldn't decide which one I want for next year. So I did get the kitchen one and it's um, awesome. And I know they went super fast last year. So I thought I will get it this year. And I do hang this calendar in my kitchen. So why not have the kitchen calendar and it goes with my life. But then I got this one because of the bicycle on the front. And it just says begin each day with a grateful heart. It's a 20 20 12 month calendar and it's inspirations and I might take this to work and hang it and again it's some retro but there's some bicycles and just some happy pages and if not I may do some DIYs with those pictures so I grabbed two because they're a dollar and I couldn't make a decision so I bought two uh, I got those and then I grabbed these, and I'm going to take it out of its plastic to show you. Um, for Again, for document storage and stuff. Um, I'm not sure what use I will get out of them, but there will be use. So there are. It just has a snap, and then you can put paper pages down in there. You can use it for couponing and whatever. I don't know how... Stir it smells funny. I don't know how sturdy it would be for multiple, you know, for consistent use, but definitely to store important documents. Like probably my loan for my car will end up in here, my loan documents, and keep those separate, and then put them in a storage system. And then look at this one, because let's be honest, that's why I bought them. It's the cats with the glasses, you know. So I will have something to store in these. I have to go through my um, filing system. I've been buying. Um, different things to use for filing all my important documents and that I really need to have in one place. I have to go adult now. So I grabbed a two pack of these and they're only 50 cents a piece and I thought this is the perfect time to um, get them. So yeah, now this one is funny. It's not buttoning. It's not snapping appropriately. The snap is off center or the top is. I mean, it's fine. It just is a little bubbled. But that's okay. I grabbed those. Um, for back to school, for one of my little cherubs, I got her some of these um, paper mates, a four pack of mechanical pencils, and I already bought her some lead, so I thought she could use those. She's getting at the point now where they can have mechanical pencils, so I thought these would be fun for her. And I did pick up two. They had all three, but I didn't like the other one of these washies. I love washi tape. And three for a dollar is a really good deal. The polka dots are fun. The gold polka dots are amazing. And then the chevron and the roses. And then I think, I don't know if that's flower print. 
the pink, but I grabbed two of these. They do stick. They work. I do. I like washi. I don't need washi in my life, but three of them for a dollar is a good deal, and I will use it. I will use it. I'm not sure who I'm telling, you or me, but I will use it. I did find the cute lotions. I think these are perfect stocking stuffers, and this one is actually going to be um, a secret Santa for a co-worker. But this is the narwhal with the little rainbow. I got coconut in the sloth, which just makes me happy to look at. And then I got grapefruit in the llama. Oop, in the llama. And we're gonna open it up and see how it smells. In the llama, they have these, and these are great stocking stuffers, um, purse things, little add-ons for gifts and stuff, especially with the holidays coming up. I'm gonna sound like a broken record with the holidays because I love Christmas. And I love being prepared well in advance so that I can enjoy the season. All right. So I squeeze a little on. Let's see how this stuff works. It's pretty thick. It has a very light smell. I definitely do not smell coconut. I mean, not coconut, palm, grapefruit. But it feels nice. It's nice and thick, actually. Let's see if I get that sticky feeling from it. A little sticky but I think it dries pretty quickly yeah I'm not smelling grapefruit I'm not gonna lie but it's a nice hand cream and it's a cute container and I think it would make an awesome stocking stuffer you could also like hang it on a tree as a gift because it does have the hole hang it off your backpack hang it off anything so these are adorable I grabbed those and then the last things I picked up this week are for back to school for young Addison. I got her some socks because these are really nice socks. Um, and she wears these and she wears them outside. So it's okay if they get ruined. Um, so this one has some sleeping sloths because duh. And then the second pair is stripes. These are all two packs. Some cherries, which I thought were adorable. And then pink and white stripes on the back with the gray. And then some pandas in the pool and then some pastel stripes. So I just thought these were gonna be fun for back to school. She can, you know, wear them. They miss a match all the time. And $3 for six pair of socks is really a good deal. And they're not bad, I wear mine. They definitely will hold up to school use for her, especially if she has enough pair. So I grabbed six, six pair of socks for her. I'm looking for some for the boy child, but He'll need different socks in that. So that is everything I picked up. I hope you enjoyed, and I will talk to you later. Bye.